our lunchtime faculty concert. It's our annual faculty concert, and we do have a, a few special guests coming, and our uh, percussion professor who's performing uh, for us today, who's uh, relatively new, starting uh, last uh, September. So we have a very exciting program for you. We have a flute and piano duo, modern pieces, jazz piano solo, we have percussion solo and guitar solo. So I uh, hope uh, you all enjoy it. Thank you for coming. And don't forget to give us a big hand when we come up. See you in a bit. represent the music department directly since I teach in the physics department. Um, so fortunately, once a year, they let me come over here and sort of play the role as a musician, uh, which is a nice little vacation for me. Um, this song um, is a song I wrote for my son, my youngest son. And when you hear it, you may hear parts of it that are kind of, uh, I'd say, usual and traditional you might find in pretty much any jazz tune, and some parts that are um, a little bit less usual, maybe a little less like innovative, but maybe just a little unusual. So I'd say there's this tension between usual and unusual. And when I put it all together, uh, I found that it sort of uh, reminded me of my son, so I named it for him. Um, and if you don't know how jazz works, there's a, a written out melody you know, that I composed, and then sort of the next time through, I'll play it a couple more times and with improvisation. So uh, you kind of listen for the parts that you think are composed and which parts are improvised. Uh, I actually only really finished Composing it like last week, so I, I can't claim to be an expert at playing it, but uh, we'll just have fun. With it.
glad to see you all here today. We are going to play uh, a beautiful piece that was just composed a year ago by a composer named Daniel Dorf. And we're playing the first movement of a sonata that uh, involves recollections of the composer of summer houses and summer lake and mountain retreats that he visited as a child. And uh, we're playing the first movement. The name of the lake is kind of silly. Um, in the Poconos, actually, Lake Wallen Palpac. Has anybody heard of it? And, um, oh, you've heard of it? Okay, tell us about it. Oh, it's a very pretty area. It's one of the largest lakes. I think it's an artificial lake, but uh, people who go there love it. That's what the composer said. It's artificial, but it's very, very beautiful. You can't tell it's artificial. And uh, this particular movement is about young love and memories of a summer romance when everything's sweet. And I want you to think about um, the piece as it ends, how you think the romance went. Um, maybe you can think about that for you. I know a lot of you have to write papers. And one other way he wrote it is he's telling a story, which happens in music a lot. So he actually writes in the music um, verse, various verses, which we open up with, and then there's a refrain, which means a repeating part that comes back over and over again, which is kind of the main thought of the piece with little vignettes giving more details about the story. So um, this is the refrain, just so you know when you hear it. And then you'll hear that lots. And then in between, you can maybe, if you want, make up a story in your head during the verses about the young mom. Hope you enjoy it.
This is a kalimba. These are Japanese rin. And this is a timpani.
Ernie Jackson, and I'm just going to play a little guitar for you this afternoon.
called Blackbird in translation, and it actually incorporates real bird song. Um, French composer Olivier Messia was very interested in ornithology, and this is one of his earliest pieces in which he incorporated bird song. Um, since we are heading to our spring break, we thought that would be an appropriate way to send you off with some certain bird song.
music department faculty concert. Our concert uh, is usually in uh, springtime, and I just realized today is uh, April Fool's Day. Happy <laughs> April Fool's Day. <laughs> um, uh, don't forget to come to our next concert, uh, Grammy Award winner, Arturo Oberos, uh, April Jazz Latin Band Concert. He's going to bring five of his band members, and he's a great jazz pianist. And, uh, so we'll have a, a blast here. So don't forget to come and uh, join us, and also 